hi, it's me. I'm going to be making a video showing you how to make a hair bow wired snitch for hair bow itch because I know a lot of you have been having some trouble with this. So first of all, you need two of the effect repeaters, two of the fernie position state match conditions, two move and rotate fernie effects, three or more match fernie to position and state effects, one user walks on fernie effect, one teleport user effect, one random add-on, a switch of some kind, and of course, your snitch. Okay, I'm just going to arrange the stacks quickly, just so you know what they should look like. Oh my God. Um, ig ignore that. Okay, first I'm going to handle the first stack which just moves the snitch without being teleported around or everywhere. There should be no delay on the repeat effect triggers. Now if you go to your conditions, if you just click your switch, make sure a current for any state is ticked, then you can click ready. You go to your move and rotate for any effects. Uh, check the all directions box. You don't really need a rotation. Make sure the snitch is selected, no delay, and click ready. Do that for both of those. Same thing for the, tele for the other repeat effect. You can make it longer in practices to go easier on some seekers, but in a real match it would be about 0 0.5 seconds as a delay. Make sure the conditions are the, uh, are the same. So si the, the switch is selected, current for any state is ticked. Then you can click ready. Okay, now this is the part I really enjoy. Just turn that switch down. Okay, when you click on the match for to position state effects, make sure that the snitch is highlighted current position in room is ticked and if you move this, the, the fernie somewhere else in the room then you know the snitch will move that area as like a spawn point so that'll be where it spawns to when it moves so if I keep that there and I move on to the next effect I can move the snitch somewhere else make sure current position in room is ticked click ready and just keep doing that with all of them until you feel that the pattern it's going in is acceptable. I'm not going to bother with them actually, it just takes time. Um, <laughs> now to make yourself smart, uh, sparkly when you sit on the snitch, make sure that the snitch itself is highlighted with the user walks on Fernie trigger. Click ready. And the same thing with the teleport to Fernie. It seems we've already had this highlighted, so yeah, just click ready. So now, oops, now when you set off your snitch, it should be able to move, see? Now, as I said earlier, to make it easier on uh, seekers in practice, you can turn the delay up on the tall stack with all the match for uh, to position state effects. If you just turn it up, well, I'm just gonna turn it up to two, then you should be able to see, look, it's slowing down. Okay, all right. That's all I have. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs>